And I want to go see the latest Tyler Perry and then I would like to go to BBQ. That's it. For a worm. And that's it. That's it. 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 And that's all. Kevin! I mean, that's it. <laughs> you stole it. One of the most recent sketches aired by Saturday Night Live has lots of comedy fans upset. The premise of the sketch in question was supposed to be a fake commercial for a new line of miniature airport luggage, with the punchline being a bunch of different small items that could fit inside these miniature bags, and that's it. Perfect for carrying one airport and that's it. One outdoor and that's it. Half smoke cigarette. And that's it. Now this may look like a typical run-of-the-mill SNL sketch to most, but fans of New York comedian Giannis Papas were quick to recognize exactly where they've seen this joke before. I drink pina colada, that's it. You're going to pay two, I'm not going Dutch with you. This is three genders. I, I stop at three. That's it. That's it, that's it. It's been over 13 years since Giannis Papas invented his Mauricia character. But back in 2010, these videos went about as viral as they possibly could. Mauricia was so popular, in fact, that Giannis would fully tour as this character and sell out shows all across the country. So when he saw last weekend's episode of Saturday Night Live, Giannis was understandably pissed off. It exploded. Lines around the block, people saying, that's it. We sold shirts that said, that's it. If, if you do a sketch <clears throat> where the punchline is, that's it, and that's it, it's obvious to everyone that you stole it. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on of the amount of people who've told me what that character has done for them during dark times. It's been a real positive force. She's a real source of light in the world. She's so well established and it's so known that it's hers. Doing it in the, this comedy context, everyone was just saying, hey, you stole that. Like it was a known thing. The sketch was just really bad. It was stolen, it's stolen. SNL stole the sketch. And it was nice to be on SNL. It was nice <laughs> to watch what I created way ahead of its time find its way onto a, a mainstream television show, which is mostly now used as a punchline. It's not what it used to be. It used to be that the car the actual comedians on there would get famous from the comedy they did. Now it's like who's hosting and that's the only thing that matters. And it's obvious it can't compete with the speed of the internet and how many people make sketches and how much content is out there and how comedians have to riff so much now and be loved for how funny they are off the top of the head on podcasts and stuff. And the people that are on this show probably, you know, still try to look down at podcasts and go, oh, he's got a podcast. Yeah. And he's making as much money as Matt Damon to star in a movie, you fucking antiquated DVD player. This was just part of his full response video that he posted on the Giannis Papas channel. But thankfully, Mark Norman recently brought this up on the Joe Rogan Experience during an episode of Protect Our Parks. Discussing this story on one of the largest media platforms on Earth definitely helps get the word out there. Although Joe did bring up the alternative perspective of das it being a popular phrase in the Miami region even before Giannis's character. You can't force a catchphrase down people's throats. It happens naturally. Like das it. I didn't choose it as a catchphrase. The fans did when they watched the video. And every fan after they watch the video does a certain voice where they go, and the set. The character Maurice, which I created 12 years ago, which became quite iconic, was ahead of her time and extremely popular. It brought people together. You got the gay community that loves it. They do her at drag shows all the time. You got obviously the Cuban and Puerto Rican, Dominican communities that love it. You got your white girls that love it. You got your white guys that love it. You got everyone loves it. You're a fan of the video. You thought it was funny. You start going around your friends and you're going, and that's it. I want to go, and you can use it for anything. I'm going to the store, and that's it. I want somebody to take me to Westchester, and that's it. And that's it. I'm trying to tell you, that's it. So obviously, Marisa did not invent that's it because that's it is saying that's it with like a New Yorkian accent. Instead of saying that's it, you say that's it. But Marisa, the character, is directly responsible for that's it becoming funny and a thing said in a certain way. Let me know in the comments if you think this sketch was stolen or if it's just the obvious joke for SNL to make with a Latino host. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say about this controversy, but when it comes to this video, that's it. That joke world. That's it, that joke world. And the world is W-R-L-D. That's a great uh, YouTube channel, Joke World. Check it out.